Hello, mathematicians. Chris Pinto here from Skew the Script. Today, we'll be discussing exponential growth and how videos go viral. Let's skew it. In this video, we're going to specifically look at how exponential growth can help us figure out how videos go viral. And not just any viral video. Today, we're going to talk about Nyan Cat, internet sensation of 2011. 204 million people have watched the video, but you know how many have read Nyan Cat's Wikipedia page? Well, probably just me, let's be honest. So for those of you who have never seen Nyan Cat before, first of all, you're welcome. But let me give you a little bit of background first. All right, let's take a look at our timeline here in 2011. On April 5th, our famous video gets posted online. By April 23rd, we had over 1 million views. And since we're mathematicians, of course, we want to accurately model this data. But when I look at it, I would just say, that's a lot of cats. So today's key analysis is, how do videos go viral? We're going to figure out how a silly one-minute video goes from one view to 204 million views. You can follow along today using the guided notes that are linked in the video description below. Now, in this video, we're going to focus on three things. First, let's start with multiplication and exponential growth. So it's day zero and Nyan Cat gets uploaded to YouTube and watched exactly once by the person who uploaded it. That person shares it with exactly two people. Then those two people each share Nyan Cat with two more people. And those people, well, you get the drift. We can use a tree diagram to model this scenario. On day zero, it's just me. On day one, we have two new views. And as you can see here, the model continues to grow. Now, by day five, there are 32 new views, and this goes on and on. Let's take a look at the table we created. Do you notice a pattern in the new views column? To get from one day to the next, we multiply the number of new views by two. Now, our tree diagram is getting a little out of hand, so maybe we can use this table to model the scenario in a different way. So let's let the days be our x variable and let the new views be our y variable. Using these variable definitions, we can graph the number of views each day. So let's plot each coordinate and then fit a nice curve to the data. You can see here that on our x axis, we have our days after posting and our y axis represents the new views. When we plot a curve to this data, notice it is not a straight line. Take a minute to pause the video and answer this question in your notes. What happens to the number of views over time? It goes up. The number of views increases every single day after posting. Pause the video again and answer this question in your notes. What happens to the rate of change of views over time? This time, we're not just thinking about the number of views. We're thinking about how fast the number of views are changing each day we see that growth is slow at first, then growth accelerates over time. Here are the actual views that Nyan Cat received after each day. What we see here is called exponential growth. The black curve you see is a model that's been fit to the data to show the trend over time. Again, notice how growth is slow at first, and then the growth accelerates as time passes on. This is how videos can become viral so quickly. All models are wrong, but some are useful. George E. P. Box, one of our famous statisticians. Our model certainly isn't perfect, but it can help us. Although this model doesn't exactly fit every data value, explain why it might still be useful. Pause the video and take a moment to answer question five in your notes. Why is this model useful? Maybe consider how it can be used to make predictions. Later in the video, we'll see how an exponential model can be used to make predictions. But for now, let's take a look at topic number two, modeling exponential growth. Remember that we noticed this pattern in our table. The new views or our y values are being multiplied by two each day. Repeated multiplication like this can be represented using exponents. And if the repeated multiplication is by a number greater than one, this leads to exponential growth like we saw in the Nyan Cat model. Let's look at how this repeated multiplication can be represented with exponents. So we'll start here with two. 
And then we'll try rewriting four as two times two. We also see that eight can be rewritten as two times two times two. And we see that this pattern continues with the last two rows. Now let's try this a different way. When x is one, we see that our output is two. When x is two, we see that we multiply two twice. When x is three, we see that we multiply two, well, thrice. Let's continue to evaluate this when x is four and when x is five. The pattern continues. Now let's rewrite this using an exponent. We can see a relationship with our x variable and our y variable. We notice that our y variable is just two raised to the x variable. So for example, as we said earlier, when x is one, y is two. When x is two, y is four. And we see again that this pattern continues. Now let's try writing an equation to show the relationship we just discovered. We'll start with this model here, y equals a times b to the x power. Here, our x variable still represents the days and our y variable still represents new views. Pause the video to reflect, what do you think a and b are going to represent? This is our general form of the equation. a represents our start value or the y-intercept and b represents our growth rate or the multiplier. Let's identify B in the equation. When we look at the table, we can see that each new Y value is the product of two and its previous value. Hence, we would call two our growth factor or our growth rate. Our initial value is indicated by the A term in the equation. We also call this a start value or the Y intercept. And remember, this is when X equals zero. Here in our table, when x equals zero, we see that y equals one. Hence, a must be one. So we finally have our model. Let's test it out with some points from the table and make sure it works. So when x is zero, we have y equals one times two to the zero power. Let's start by doing the exponents first. Well, two to the zeroth power is just equivalent to one and one times one will give us one. Let's try this when x equals three. So again, we'll start by doing the exponents first. And two to the third power is just two times two times two, which we know is eight. And one times eight will give us eight. Okay, now that we have our model, it's time to see why it's useful. Let's make some predictions. Let's start by making a prediction about day 20. This is problem 9a on your guided notes. Remember that our x variable represents the day and the y variable represents the number of new views. How many new views of Nyon cat will there be on day 20? Well, let's start by substituting 20 in for x. We'll replace x with the 20 and we'll see that two to the 20th power is 1,024. Now let's add some units to this. Based on our model, we should have about 1,024 new views on the 20th day. I'm gonna ask myself if this is a reasonable amount and I think that it is. Now, why don't you pause the video and try 9b on your own? And we'll follow the same process, except now we're going to use 30 for x. We'll substitute in 30 and we see that two to the 30th power ends up being 1,073,741,824 new views. Is this right? My brain can't really process this number. But according to our model, there should be over 1 billion views by the end of the month. Do you think that this is a good prediction? Unfortunately, it's not. Nyan Cat is currently at 204 million views, so not even close to 1 billion, really. It went viral, but it's definitely no baby shark, and that's for sure. Now take a minute to pause the video and reflect on the question in 9c. Why did our model fail us? The fact is that our growth factor won't stay two forever. As the video spreads, it's going to reach people who aren't as engaged by the content. Your grandma is probably less inclined to share the Nyon Cat video than your little sister. Eventually the growth rate declines. Now let's think about a slightly different question. If a video needs to have 5 million views in a day to be considered viral, about how long does our model predict that should take? 
We actually don't have the mathematical tools to solve that yet, and you'll see why in a second, but we can use a graphing calculator or Desmos to answer this question. And in this problem, we want our y variable to be 5 million. This is where we need a future math concept to find x. Currently, we don't have anything to help us get the variable out of the exponent, but have no fear, we'll get there soon. Since we want the output to be 5 million, we'll set this to the term y in our model and set the two to be equivalent. We then identify the intersection to be about 22.25 and 5 million, which means that in about 22.25 days, we should predict about 5 million views. Now let's try this using a calculator. So on y1 of our graphing calculator, we input our model, 1 times 2 to the x power. And using the table feature, I'll be able to see that we get pretty close to 5 million, but not exact as we saw on the graph. Here, I would say it hits about 5 million views somewhere between 22 to 23 days. Now here's an activity that you can do to see exponential growth in action. As a class, you can choose one of two options. Number one, make a video that you think has a chance at going viral and post the video on YouTube. Or option two, find a video on YouTube with very few views, less than a thousand preferably, that you think has a chance at going viral if enough people share it. Once you've selected your video, every student should share it with two people outside of the class. Ask those people to share it with two more people, and our goal here is to create an exponential growth model, just like the ones we saw in this lesson. Here's a sample message you can use when sharing your video. You can use this graph on the last page of your guided notes to keep track of how your video is doing. After five days of sharing, you can see, did your video go viral? And if not, don't feel bad. It probably just needs more cats. Definitely check out nion.cat if you didn't get enough of that in this video. And remember to credit your wonderful math teacher if you ever have a video go viral. Thanks for following along on today's lesson. We'll see you next time. Hey, can you hear that in the background? My neighbor was just screaming. So like, uh, we're recording curriculum here, people. Thanks for following a lot. <laughs> this, is, this is perfect. The outtakes. <laughs>